Okay, after the military service page, we're going to move to marriage records. And again, you may or may not have marriage records, or maybe your ancestors weren't actually married, but there's a significant person you want to mention, in which case you could always change this to better reflect the relationship that you wanted to capture. But we're going to just use it as a marriage records page because James Kennedy Gordon was married. He was actually married twice, but we are just going to work on uh, his marriage to his second spouse. If I wanted to add additional pages, I could always go up here and I could click, uh, it looks like two boxes and one of them has a little plus size or plus sign. If I click that, it's going to duplicate the page. And now you see, I've got two marriage records. I would also need to duplicate this page down here and then rearrange things so that everything printed out nicely. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to stick with this one marriage page and just record that. So, um, again, you're going to have a variety of marriage records, most likely, and you may have things that fit into these frames. Let me upload the files I have for James Kennedy and his wife. Okay, I'm uploading a little selection of uh, photos and documents and things that have to do with their marriage. And then we will decide um, what we're going to put in. I like this framed photo here. And then over here, I'm going to just drag this image of the two of them. It's basically the same image. Um, you know, it's from the same photo session most likely, but I think that that's a nice little comparison. And let me just go ahead and fill in all of the forms with their marriage information, just like we have on other pages. Hmm. You'll notice that when I did that and I hit uh, enter to create a new line, it lined it up with this names field, which totally makes sense because it doesn't understand that I wanted it to line up right here. So I'm actually going to delete what I just typed out. And even though I told you it makes sense to just continue on um, the same little, you know, to just keep typing inside this text box, I'm going to copy it and paste it right next to itself. And I'm going to put their names in here so that when I hit enter, everything is lined up nicely. There, that looks better. Okay, and you can see I did the same thing with the witnesses. I wanted them lined up together, and then we could call this page finished, or I could actually include another image, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drag in this page from uh, their wedding book. Question is, hmm, now added this, but I think that's a little small. So I think I've changed my mind. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the other page. Oh, I can't. Well, then I guess we'll make do. You know what I'm going to do? It's just because it's not lining up with this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add this image here. And then I also have this clipping that I wanted to add. And we'll just add it over here in the white space. Again, it's completely up to you if you wanted things to be, you know, this honestly a little bit crowded looking. Um, or if you just wanted to keep things clean, I think that that looks just fine. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger and scoot that over a little and then we have a marriage records page and then here again we've got the photo family tree only this time instead of having it be a family tree showing him as a child we're going to show the family that he and his spouse created together so i'm going to drag let's see let's use this one i'm going to drag their wedding portrait in because again i like group photos because it sort of shows everybody's age they're very close together, but I think we'll be able to make it work. Just her in that one. And then we're going to take an image of their child. This is a baby image. Let's see. It's going to include her with this deer that she's with, but... I think just the baby picture is fine. 
and <clears throat> they only had one child, which I'm realizing is a theme with this person. Um, so we're not going to need any of these other boxes. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Uh, I'll put the full image of the child down here. And then next to that, I'm going to actually include um, a picture of them all together. Now, you know, I like to use group photos to show ages and it would make sense for me to use a group photo um, of this child with her parents. But in this group photo, you actually really can't see her face at all. And the picture of her mother is kind of, um, it's not great. So uh, we're just going to make do with what we've got and then just crop down the edge of that photo a little bit. And now we'll change everybody's names. You know what? I don't like the cropping I did. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Let's try a lighter hand. I feel like I overcropped. Oh, it's because it's crooked. Well, that'll be okay. All right. Now let's change everybody's name. Okay, now everybody's information is in and we have the marriage records page and then the photo family tree filled in. And we are making good progress on this ancestor chapter.